Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how Persistate you can save your player data with tracker device between sessions. So I get this simple verse script where I have increment, decrement and set. You can add multiple triggers like even thousand, it's up to you. So I do it with trigger because you can connect trigger basically to everything. <laughs> so as you see I go to increment and in my tracker device I get plus 50, I get increment one more time. And as you see, it's always going with 50. If I go with decrement, boom, boom, boom. If I go with set, oh, maybe decrement one more time. <laughs> if I go with set, I get 50 because I set it up to set it to 50. So I can uh, go minus, so I can only go to zero. As you see, I can be like minus thousand. And yeah, I can increment. And when I end the game, And launching again, as you see, I have 100, so it's saved between sessions. So when player leave and join again, he will have his data. Like, it's useful because it's not like working on a store or anything else. You can create hundreds of things to save, maybe pets or kill street, anything. You can save those anything. <laughs> It's up to you what you want, even one system, everything. So, yeah. Let's get to the UFN and verse and do it. Okay, so I'm in UFN right now. So, first things we can talk about how we will save those data. So, let's go to our content browser, go to devices, and search for tracker. As you see, we have the tracker device where we can put the value. So let's maybe do the bigger. Okay, and we have start to track eliminations. We have a lot of stuff to track, but today we will focus on events. Because we want to, this is the like custom events. Each tracker can track custom events. So this tracker can uh, have maximum to 50 and this one to 1000. And if you do it with store, this both with store, they will both count for score so if you have 400 score here will be 400 and here will be 400 but if you do it with events each tracker if have his own events so this tracker can have 200 and this can have 800 so events is like the custom ones so it's also really 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 helpful and next things uh, it's good if you set when target is reached you do nothing because if you even set the target value leave to 10 because you forgot to set it up if you set the do nothing it will just tracker don't disable i think if you set it complete tracker will just disable and boom you lost all your data <laughs> uh, so do nothing you know <laughs> and yeah don't remove this device because it stored all your player data so if you remove it it's gone also so it's better to hide it somewhere <laughs> okay and this is show on hat if you want uh, show this hat tracker hat typically if you saving the, the data with this you don't want this show of hat so i will go with no and off but for purpose of this video i will do with both and total just just to show you that the data is saving and also have amount charging on uh, on event it's like useful, we don't need that. We will calculate it the different way. And also here you have use persistent. So this is the our saving data. So we need to check it up and select auto save and auto load. So when player leave the game, it will automatically save the data to this tracker. And when player join the game, it will automatically load his data. Okay, and that's basically it in our tracker device. We can scale it to the normal, okay? And go to the Verse Explorer. If you don't have it, click here on Verse and Verse Explorer. And create the new Verse file, Verse device, and name it Persis Table System. You can name it whatever you want. If you have already script called like this, just rename it. Okay. Wait, let me grab my first, okay. Mm, I will change the team a little. Uh, 
quit um, not this one let's do this one okay and let's create our email enum with trigger action types this is the enum with increment decrement and set so we have three options increment decrement and set if you want to have like multiply or divide or whatever <laughs> you can add it no problem we will focus on these three things okay and let's create a manager data so this is the class with concrete tag so this is basically the manager where we can add our triggers to manipulate the trigger uh, tracker value and how much we want to increment or decrement or set with our children action types okay so let's add edit table and trigger dev so this is basically trigger device and trigger device is one of the best logic device because you can post just connect it to everything you ever want and next is trigger action type which will be the children action types is equal to children action types and because this is enum we need to not this series brackets <coughs> we need to add dot and one of the elements of our enum i will go with increment like this is the default one so i can even push the changes and show you um, let's go to stable system and okay uh, never mind because i don't set it up here <laughs> uh, okay let's leave it i will show you later okay next is edit table and how much so how much we want to increment decrement or set let's go with increment for now like you can change it inverse device no, no worries no worries you not need to change it inverse but uh, yeah next is uh, the optional from our may maybe main device so this is the optional from Percy stable system and that's why it's persistent is optional because it can fail so <laughs> like i think we can do it that way yeah let's just set it up uh, yeah so we can uh, set it up without, without the optional but like i think it's like preference things i al al always do it with optionals i think it's better uh, because i don't know why but <laughs> i think it's better Okay, so <laughs> let's create function on begin. Maybe I'll record a video about optionals. So yeah, I uh, and you will learn more. Can I use optionals only for this or maybe agent for making some powers? Yeah, so I'm making the optional for agent. Like if I do some power, so for example, for this agent is this power, etc., etc. But yeah, I will go deep in some of the video, maybe in the Friday, maybe on the next week. I will see, I will see. And next we need an untriggered function, which required a maybe agent. But this is also an optional with agent, because trigger can be triggered from, I don't know, by a zombie or something. <laughs> so that's why it's optional, because like if you have button, you with button agent need to interact it's not our way but with trigger you can yeah interact by water sequence or something so that's why it's optional okay so let's set it up the on begin because i always forgot about that so now let's set it up first so okay trigger device and we need to subscribe to triggered event that subscribe on trigger so every time this trigger is triggered we fire the on triggered function but we can set it up on trigger because we don't set the function in persistable system so let's do it now so first things we need to add edit table and add our tracker device that we set it up before making the script so tracker device okay and next we need edit table and managers data which will be the array of our manager data okay now we can basically set it up our on begin because this is for loop and we need to for manager data so we need to look through our all all the managers okay and set manager data that maybe main 
I'll just copy this maybe main device is equal to option south. So we're basically assigning this persistable system to this device. So this device is our self. Okay. Next is manager data that on begin. Okay. And we need the function trigger action, which require an agent, a trigger action type, which is the trigger action types. Okay. And also the int value so our how much okay so we can set it up this function right now because we created this function not the inside the function but uh, yeah so we can do if here on triggered if agent so we need to get the agent from our maybe agent okay and we need to get the main device from our maybe main device okay and now we can fire this function so main device trigger action and we need to trigger for agent trigger, ac trigger action type and our how much oh okay so let's set it up this function now so we need to get the current value from our tracker first so current value is our track device tracker device get value from our agent okay next we need to do the case we can do an uh, if statements but if statement is less efficient than the case so let's do the case and case trigger action type because we have three action types so okay let's case through all so increment decrement and set you need these arrows here, like this, after each of the type. And also if you, for example, add multiply, and you don't want multiply in trigger action, uh, or you have in enum, basically, or in case, for example, you're looping, looping through in value, you need to add the floor, and after the floor, this um, this arrow. So this is basically like a else in if statement. And you can add even 100 spaces. It's not matter. Okay, so let's uh, delete the multiply. Okay. And here we need to get the new value. So this is basically a current value plus in value. And we now need to go to tracker device set value for our agent and the new value if you're interested in read more about triggers like events and actions like functions you can click the control like hold control and left mouse button click and you will have all the functions that trigger have and you can read like save load load for all clear persistence set description text set value for team for agent because you can uh, okay let's delete from trigger uh, as you see here you have the sharing to individual uh, but you can have team and all so here is a team uh, that's sharing this tracker so for example if you have some red versus blue and you want to track a score you basically can do it with uh, the team and the team index, for example, red is two and the blue is one. But we will focus on individual. <laughs> okay. And we can just copy this. Here we need just the minus. And on set, we don't even need the new value because we can provide an int value because we set it up to int value okay and at the end of the case we can print the new value so new value is and just copy the tracker device get value okay so that's basically it in the script let's set it up in ufn first push for build uh, verse code 
and let's set it up. So let's go to our first device and connect our tracker device, this little thing, <laughs> and maybe put some triggers on the map. Okay, um, one trigger, second trigger, and third trigger. Okay, and create the three managers. And maybe let's take those spawn paths here. Okay. So in the first one, so the inner zero, the trigger device will connect this one. And as you see, you have the trigger action type, and you have increment, decrement, and set. You see? <laughs> this one will be for increment. And how much I will go with 50, you can even type, I don't know, this crazy number. Or even this one minus 100 is actually not work. Like you can type it, but I don't know how it is. It's still decrement by minus 100. So, yeah. You can just decrement by 100 and it will be the same. So, increment by 50. Okay. Let's go to the other one. Connect this trigger. And this one will have trigger action type to decrement. And also with 50. The last one will have the set and maybe we'll set it to 1000. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Okay, and that's basically it in setting up this device. It's really easy device to set up and also the very easy burst code, but it's really, really, really helpful. Like the persistable reverse is so hard and long if you want like the simple saving system. It's the easiest way to do it with trackers, believe me. So, okay, let's launch a session and test it out. Okay, so I'm in session right now, and as you see, I have tracker in the left. So, let's increment our value. And new value is 50, new value is 100, new value is 50. Okay, so now let's enter the game and relaunch it. And boom. Okay, and our value is 50. So let's set it up to 1000. Let's end the game and start again to double check. <laughs> okay, and I have 1000. So as you see, it's pretty simple how to you can save data with trackers. It's not some complex ones. So it's much, much, much easier than doing with the, this with verse. But the only minus is that if you have a lot of things to save, the tracker device will eat a lot of memory. So that's why it's doing it with verse is much efficient because more efficient because it not eat that much memory like the trackers. So for example, if you have like 10, 20 things, it's not bad to save it with trackers. But if you have like, I don't know, 100 things, it's better to save it with no, it's better to save it with uh, persistable data in verse. <coughs> but yeah, that was it in today's video. I hope you learn how to save the the data with trackers. Hope you enjoyed and learn a lot from this video. If yes, leave a like and subscribe. And if you want the code from this video, you can join my Discord. Link is in the description, and you will get the free link like a free verse file from this video no friend invitation whatever just join and you will have it so that was it in today's video see you in the next one